The St. Anne's Bank Marine Protected Area, or MPA, is a remarkable place. It's located off the eastern coast of Unamagi, the Mi'kmaq name for Cape Breton, along the coast of Mi'kmaq, or Nova Scotia. The MPA extends from the coastal waters off Scattery Island to the deep waters of the Laurentian Channel. In 2017, this area was legally protected by the Government of Canada to support long-term conservation of marine biodiversity. So protecting the St. Anne's Bank Marine Protected Area gives us the opportunity to protect a variety of habitats all in one place. The depths within this area range from 20 to 200 meters and across a variety of different substrate types. And it is this diversity of depths and substrates that has an associated diversity of flora and fauna. So the St. Anne's Bank Marine Protected Area is a great example of a habitat on the Eastern Scotian Shelf. The Mi'kmaq of Nova Scotia were the first people to inhabit Unamagi. Near the end of the last ice age, sea levels were lower and Mi'kmaq ancestors used the once dry landscape and fished in the surrounding waters. With the lands now submerged, the area is still an important food, economic, and cultural resource for the Mi'kmaq today. The St. Anne's Bank MPA helps to protect many marine species, like sea pens, snow crabs, and wolf fish that live in the area. A variety of whales and turtles also travel through the area each year. But this is a place where anybody that has a, a scuba tank and a, and a you know, a sports diving certification can actually go and experience the place firsthand. Can dive to the seabed, can sit there and watch what's going on. The area is important to coastal fishing communities and harvesting continues in parts of the MPA. DFO works with the Mi'kmaq of Nova Scotia, scientists and coastal communities to monitor and manage the MPA so it can continue to protect species and their habitats for many generations. To learn more, visit our website.